All right, it has been so long since I've uploaded a video, but um, I guess now is just the perfect opportunity for me to start. I did end up getting a new phone, so that's what I'm going to be recording off of the new iPhone 14, so we'll be seeing how that goes. Um, but today's video, we're going to start by doing a Young LA Black Friday haul and review on one of their most popular items. So we're going to see how things go on that. Uh, I guess I'll show the box really quick. So... Oh, maybe I shouldn't show that. Um, we got a box for the first time ever. I've never got anything Young Lay wise as a box. Actually, this is my first time buying anything from anyone and getting boxes. Um, I ordered some Balfelite and I got a box of that. So that's really cool. But, uh, I mean, I pretty much, I have so much gym clothes. I went on a bulk and like literally nothing fits me now. So that's pretty much the only reason why I've continued to buy anything, because, jeez, look at that. That's not much, I mean, I guarantee there's people that got way more than me, but, jeez, what? Oh, okay, I, was say, I think that's more than I ordered, but, okay. Uh, so, I got, I think, five items, six items. And pretty much all of them are the same thing except for one thing. So I guess I'll start with the one thing that's unique. Which I think I was actually literally wearing in a different color. Which is, uh, I think it's called the, does it say on here? It does not say it on here. But it is pretty much my favorite t-shirt that I've bought from uh, Young LA. It's pretty basic. I think this might have sold out like the last time they dropped it the first time they dropped it though i was able to get a couple of them and i really like this shirt so i had to get it in blue i've got it in black navy blue um black navy blue and orange and a different version of a blue and then this is the one blue i really wanted so that's why i picked this one up even though i already have this i know i like this shirt pretty valid i'm a medium in this but it's also oversized i'm usually wearing medium in all their shirts um 220 now and 510 so love this shirt one of my favorite designs one of just just a nice oversized tee nothing complex to it but you can probably size up to like a large and get more oversized it was more oversized earlier on in the bulk but as i've gotten bigger the medium still fits me fine and i know i'm gonna cut down at some point so i'll switch on to the next item real quick so a lot of you already probably know what this is these are the young la immortal joggers Probably one of their most popular items of all time. They have dropped this thing like three times, four times now. And I've never been able to get my hands on them till now. And I was able to pick up um, the original colors because they did a restock on Black Friday and they added some new colors. I was able to pick up black, brown, navy blue, uh, purple, and green. There was, I think, still like a red and a blue. If any of them that I would have picked up that I didn't get would have been um, probably red. But other than that, I mean, I went with like the most staple colors you can get. And I think it looks pretty sick. Literally, like I said, I've been trying so hard to get these ones, but I've just never had time to. I've been working and stuff. So I'm going to large in these because I do have big legs and these fit me pretty much perfectly. Uh, not, not too bad at all. I just literally ran out of joggers. I only wear like four or five joggers now and I just needed more. So... I have another mirror over here that I'm looking at myself in directly. They fit pretty good on me. They cuff down nice on the calves and they got the little rows. I mean, what's left to be said about these joggers besides the fact that like, they're just the best joggers Young LA's dropped just because of the simple fact that the design is nice. But uh, I mean, other than that, that's literally all I ordered. I've got them in a couple other colors. Like I said, I ordered it in purple. Actually, I want to see the purple color. That purple is like a, not as dark as I would have liked it to be. Purple is my favorite color though, so I'll still make use of it. I could have done with like a little bit darker of a purple than this. This is definitely like, like, oh, uh, this over here, this hoodie. This hoodie right here, uh, it's like a slightly darker, deeper purple that I would have preferred over this, but it's still not bad at all. I'm still gonna wear it. 
and the market on the after the aftermarket like resale of these holy balls bro people sell these things for like a hundred dollars like insane so i'm glad i finally got my hands on these in five different colors but uh other than that i guess i'll just be catching you up to speed um catching you up to speed on how things have been and what like what lies ahead i guess because uh i mean i guess like maybe a year since i've uploaded last so it's been quite a while i've got the bulk face going on i've got my facial hair going a little bit and my hair is kind of long not too bad it's probably like three weeks long so it's nothing crazy but it's like coming up on three weeks of facial hair i think it's three weeks actually three weeks of letting it grow out i think i don't know two three weeks something like that either way um it's been a while um i don't know where to start i mean this is a long clip so i'll end up cutting stuff out of this but uh i've just been bulking i just got really sick of being plateaued you know i was stuck at 175 body weight for like two years nearly couldn't gain anything on my bench couldn't gain anything on uh anything dude couldn't gain anything on deadlift bench squat didn't gain any weight wasn't looking any different i was just fed up of looking the same and just never making progress so you know uh instead of going down the not natty route i decided to just finally go on a proper bulk and i've gone up about 50 pounds in weight um it is definitely something that's trickier to do per se and not in the sense that it's it's a difficult well it is a difficult process i wouldn't say it's not difficult but i think the mental aspect of a bulk is definitely way more mentally taxing than it would be anything else like i guess obviously when you're cutting you definitely are going through a mental state of like suffering i guess but you got to think like mentally for people most people already have body dysmorphia so just imagine the process of actually gaining weight and seeing yourself look worse like it definitely sucks and it's like one of those things where it's like there's so many points where it's like i just want to give up and just go back to cutting but uh or not going back to cutting just cutting back down and just staying where i was at but in the long run, it's been worth it. And my numbers have shot up to some crazy numbers. I mean, I've almost got to a 1,500 pound total. I'm getting close. My my uh, squat would be the one lift that uh, has to move the most before I can hit that. But I mean, I'm almost at a four plate bench. I've hit a six plate deadlift and I've hit a four plate squat. So obviously my squat is the one that's like, why is your bench almost as much as your squat? Well, that would also be the fact that I didn't squat for a good part of like a year, maybe year and a half, but just not actually trying on squat just because I was roofing and my knees were just getting blown out, actually just being on my knees all day roofing. So uh, I didn't squat for a while, but I stopped roofing. So my body has been able to recover. I stopped roofing once my, my shoulders really just started getting toasted, dude. Like it was to the point where I was benching so much. And then the fact that I was like all putting on my weight, like holding myself up while I was like shingling and stuff. It just really started to destroy my uh, upper body and it was just getting really bad so uh got out of that and uh now my body's way healthier i squat pretty consistently now i deadlift all the time and i bench like literally like nobody's business and i have just been not doing anything on youtube i've just been really lazy and i should be because now i don't have an excuse i have a phone uh that's just better quality and way more space so i can record because i think that's why i stopped actually recording was because i ran out of space on my other phone so uh that's pretty much really actually been wise my other phone ran out of space and uh i just couldn't delete anything because it was just like all old pr videos and just pictures of me uh so that's where things have been that's where i have been and i've still probably got a couple more months in this bulk i'm not gonna lie uh and it's it's been over a year yeah i've been bulking for a long time you know this isn't like oh i bulk for like three or four months gain like 10 five pounds or whatever like i've been bulking for like over a year now it is really like i said sucks because like i hate seeing my face like look as bloated as it does being as bloated as i am like it's nice going up in weight but when it's like and like pushing more weight around but the fact that i have to like buy so much new clothes cannot wear like anything i had before because it's all like skin tight and like i have a gut now so it's like it's just not flattering to my physique like yeah my chest is bigger yeah my arms are bigger yeah my delts are bigger yeah my legs are bigger but it's not like oh my god i want to show off like my shredded six pack through my shirt like you can see it hugging onto me like no it's like you just don't look good in 
in tight clothes so you just don't want to wear anything so like i've got all these extra 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 larges and all this like oversized clothes just to like kind of hide my physique from people but i mean at the end of the day as a natty you it's just like literally like all you can do and i don't care like what shit you hear online it's like don't bulk don't do this main game blah 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 as a natural you can hit a plateau where if you don't bulk you're never going to get anywhere and why would you not want to try you know like i mean i guess like i said it's really mentally taxing to just see yourself kind of diminish but as a natural and as just in general like you should always like want to try new things so obviously like it, maybe it's not for everyone and like it does suck having to spend as much money as i do and having to see my body look the way it does but it's also a different experience than always walking around like lean like i was always lean and this is the first time i ever went on a bulk but yeah it sucks but at the same time i know the payoff when I finally cut, because I'm telling you now, I can well say I've gained at least, and I'm being conservative, at least five pounds of muscle. And that for natural is really good with nothing needed. Like I don't take protein. I don't take creatine as like ever. Like I did for a little bit and I stopped taking creatine. I was taking supplements, but I stopped. Like I don't take anything. So like the amount of just raw size I probably put on for like just you know, I eat what I should be eating, but I don't take the supplements I probably should be taking. Like creatine, obviously, is a help, a help, big help. And protein, I mean, I eat, probably eat way more than I need to in protein. So that's not a really big deal. But I'm just saying, like, the amount of things I could do slightly better to add maybe a little bit more is there. But just being on this book alone, I'm telling you, I know it's going to be worth it when I cut. And I know I'm going to look good when I cut. I still have to hit my numbers. I still want to hit... A 1500 pound total and then uh my goal from that point on would be stop powerlifting and then just completely focus on my weak points on my physique which would happen to be my arms are bigger yeah because i'm gonna bulk and i probably gain a little bit of size on them regardless but i want to train my arms more i want to hit my rear delts better i want to hit um i want to grow my chest a little bit better because when you focus so much on bench you're not really getting hypertrophy and building up your chest the way it should be built so even though my chest is strong it's definitely not as built as it could be so I do want to just focus on just building some raw mass and staying in the bulk after I hit my numbers, like staying in the bulk for just a couple more months. And then after that, I'll probably cut. But my issue with cutting is I like I'm a cardio addict. So like the second I get onto a treadmill, I just want to push myself to like my limit. And I know that I'll probably cut way too fast. So my limit is just going to be trying to make sure I don't overdo it and lose muscle in the process. Because if you don't know, if you go in too great of a deficit, instead of just losing like yeah you're gonna lose fat obviously like, you're gonna lose weight but you're gonna also start to chip away at that muscle because you're just in such a great deficit so it's like you got to do it in a timely manner which is why you see all those competitors lose weight over like 16 weeks 12 weeks 14 weeks and they all don't do it in like three or four weeks like they 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 just do it really slow so that they can just slowly get away from the fat and could keep as much muscle as they can so that's the goal is i'm gonna try to make it a decent like like I, like i said it's hard for me to just even think about trying to lose it weight slowly because i know once i get on that treadmill the problem with me is going to be trying to stay in the pocket you know like some people go for prs all the time and like overshoot their numbers all the time that's me but like with cardio like i just always want to go until i can't so um uh, that'll be my issue is just trying to make sure i don't lose weight too fast but we'll see we still got a couple months out from that, but um, I might do a workout in this video. We're about to see. You can see how I feel, if I feel like recording today or not, because today is a bench day. I might. I'll see. If not, this might be the end of the video, and if it is, then I'll see you in the next one, but if it's not, then I'll see you in the next clip. In the Shinobi world, it's not how you live. It's how you die. The Shinobi's life is not measured by how they live. But rather, it's measured by what they managed to accomplish before their death. And looking back, my life has really been full of nothing but failure. It's almost unbearable, isn't it? The feeling of being all alone. I know that feeling. I've been there, in that dark and lonely place. But now there are others other people who mean a lot to me and i won't let anyone hurt them that's why i won't ever give up
Cause people called me a failure I'll prove them wrong Trying to make me give up!